Kanami nungu kaunga inuna tamat kanami tunga. Tamani kanami tunga at the goats paki maruika. At the goats it, nunamir demir who knew trachit chill. Mani do inu her chin who knew trachit chill. At the goats paki, he dem who knew she did, he nahamik. He got our turning up, he would get out, I want to document the uh, the community in Kakatak. I mean, it's one of the uh, the most remote community and smallest in Northern Greenland, uh, relying entirely on fishing and uh, hunting. So I want to do a portrait of each one of them, at least those that are there, the hunters in their traditional gear, and uh, hold this as a document of what is and what perhaps one day might not be anymore. <laughs> It was a great day, and we're still alive, so... Aha, that's working. Come on. Yep. Aha. Let's go. Okay, keep going. Straight. Aha. 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 Oh. Combined, we did six, uh, 58 kilometers three, since Kanak, and we've got 8.7 kilometers left to Kakatak, which could take us about two weeks with these dogs. Aha. This way. Okay, old man, come here. Okay, guys, okay, Alvaro, I'm gonna count on you, okay? You're the leader. You're the leader, okay? Yes, you are, okay. So you wanna go this way, really fast, okay? Really fast. say sometimes I prefer this food than the food we cook at home. It's easy, you just pour water in it, it tastes pretty good. Mm. Mm.
Right now, there's 12 people living in this community, completely cut off. You know, no cellular reception, obviously no Wi-Fi, nothing of that nature. And they manage to exist. I have no idea if they know there's a war in Ukraine. I mean, all the, these world events that are completely irrelevant, you know, they're wholly dependent on the land. The only thing that matters to them here is any shift in weather, the condition of the ice, and so the transformations that they're seeing and how that affects their uh, livelihood. You know, it was fun to make this makeshift studio in the church slash school. Shooting them is a real privilege. I always find that to be the case with indigenous populations, you know, that they gave us uh, an insight and a glimpse into their lives and um, their culture. For me, the purpose of this exercise is really to capture the, you know, the essence of living in Kakatat, what it means to be completely remote. And I just have one fundamental question is, will Kakatat be here in 50 years? Now, two children in this village, that's it. And one of them was away and there was only one left. And the school literally shut down because there was only one child and it was not worth it, I suppose, for somebody to finance the education of this one child. And she just follows the adults everywhere. And she came and hung out here by herself, you know, just to look at what we were doing. I saw no toys in her room. You know, there was one little stuffed animal. I think, oh my God, I want to send her a box of all the excess that we have. They don't seem, you know, any unhappier for it, so who am I to judge? <laughs>